Good morning. I'm here at the Walmart here at Ellsworth, right outside of Acadia National Park. Phone is telling me feet. Turn left. I'm doing crazy stuff. But I slept here again. This is my third night at this Walmart, not consecutively. I stayed here one night when I first got around the area before my Acadia National Park camp spot opened up. Then I stayed here the second night on my way out of Acadia because I left in the afternoon. And uh, I left in the morning, but kind of loitered around but I stay here again before I headed east to the easternmost point in the in United States and um, that was nice actually so on the way back um, there's not a lot of feet turn left okay Google there's not a lot of uh, free camping uh oh you're not supposed to say okay G O O G L E on the phone otherwise it thinks you're talking to it but there's not a lot of free camping around here in southwest Maine area even New Hampshire it's uh it's all like Walmarts and Home Depots and casinos and there's always catches some places don't allow it anymore some places you have to have a full self-contained vehicle like an RV uh, they won't let you stay in a car but so I stayed at this Walmart before I headed further west I'm plan is to go head southwest I'm visiting a friend in Massachusetts today so I'm gonna first go to a place called Marshall Point Lighthouse I don't know if you know what it is I didn't know until I talked to some hikers in Acadia but it is the lighthouse that they filmed part of Forrest Gump at when Forrest Gump was running across the country on the east side he went to the lighthouse ran down the pier went to the lighthouse turned around and came back so we'll hit that that's probably not gonna take too long and after that we'll just head southwest we're also going to drive through Portland, Maine because uh, Night of the Living Dead, which is a, a movie I really enjoy, was filmed there. So I just want to see a couple of spots. Nothing big because nothing was super memorable, but uh, I thought I'd just uh, drive through the city and then take off and get out of Maine. And unfortunately, yeah, New Hampshire, southern New Hampshire, is not a lot of public lands. So there's no camping either. There's some state forests in, uh, I don't know, in Pennsylvania. I was looking way ahead, but I can't wait to go a little further south where there are more national forests and more places you can go camp out. For now, let's uh, let's head on up. When I do stay at Walmart in the morning, I'd like to go in and at least buy something, Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, this way I don't have to make coffee either, but that way I have a coffee. Okay, let's go. So here we are driving away, and most of the people that camp out stay on the, uh, well, facing away from Walmart, the left side. And you can see there's a van on the right, there's a commuter bus, but you can tell that's been converted to an RV. There's another van with the satellite thing on top. A lot more people having those Starlink satellites. Jealous. There's an RV. Off to the left, there's another RV. A couple more vans. Another RV. It's uh, pretty crazy. And there's a green bus over there. That wasn't there last time I was here. It looks like it doesn't run. I don't know. Oh yeah, there's this van. Huh. I saw this guy here last time I was here. Both times I was here. Interesting. Three nights here. Three nights I saw that van. Hmm. Generally people stay off in the corner, but there's another RV over here. I guess a van. But lots of them out here. Check out this crazy bridge. I didn't drive this before. Wow. It's a cool looking bridge. And it's so foggy below. I can't even tell how far this bridge goes. <laughs> it just dies into the fog. That's a cool bridge. Never seen it with the suspension lines in the middle of the bridge, not along the sides. They're usually along the sides. That is a cool bridge. Okay, okay. I gotta make sure I turn here safely. Wow, that's a cool bridge. I don't even know where I am. Somewhere in southern Maine.
has a nice little lighthouse and it's all for free you can just go there there's parking there are um, porta potties there so we are off now to Portland um, if you haven't seen it if you like zombie movies but if you like comedies it was touted as a zombie romance comedy zom rom com but uh, I Night of the Living Dead I've seen it many times now <laughs> I really like that movie there are a lot of really corny jokes it's really silly and some of it doesn't make any sense but all together I think it makes a nice funny movie so I'm gonna go to Portland I'm just gonna check out a couple of sites I don't even know if they exist um, they could have they filmed a lot of it in Portland but I don't know if they filmed these scenes there but I'm gonna look for a statue and there's a yogurt place I'm just gonna do an outside shot of there <laughs> I'm just curious so it's only uh, two hours away so we'll be there shortly it's starting to rain though um, so I left the lighthouse actually because it was starting to rain uh, yeah but we're gonna take all these little coastal roads all the way there so it's gonna be pretty cool I think I like driving on roads I've never driven before just randomly there's this guy fishing but uh yeah it's it's fun just exploring you know it's boring driving the same roads every day every day but it's a lot of fun just driving places you've never been and you don't know what you're gonna expect you know park my car at this random street um, they still have like pay parking things so I put some quarters and got 30 minutes so I'm not going too far I'm just going to the monument there's a big monument in the middle of the town and uh, there was a scene in the movie with it so I thought I'd go over in the movie they had graffiti all over I'll give you a screenshot of it here and uh, they filmed it when nobody was there I don't know if, I guess they managed to close off the roads but uh, I'm gonna go over there and try to take the same picture with me in it uh, I didn't bring a tripod or anything because there's a bunch of people here so I'm just gonna walk over there and do a little selfie with the picture and uh, and then be on my way and then I'm gonna go to a spot um, I had to kind of figure it out I had to look at the scene over and over and uh, the main store that they were in uh, it doesn't exist so I kind of checked out other stores in that clip and I found the corner where they filmed it so I'm gonna head on over there as well and I'll show you a screenshot when I get there so let's uh let's get to the monument here Portland there's the monument in the movie it made the shot look so clear I took a picture but there's a tree kind of in the way I don't know if the tree was there before but the buildings look a little different I'm gonna cross the street and go read any uh, information about it I guess between 1861 and 1865 more than 4,000 men enrolled from Portland in the Army and Navy during the Civil War and 300 died so it's a memorial to those who died and also to those who dared to die but survived really nice I like these old statues it's just not the same these days with modern statues it's nice testing the nice older ones This is a panning shot from the movie. And there's the Goberry Yogurt place, but it's an art gallery. And I'm glad that wall's still there. And that's where someone wrote, oh, you're all gonna die. It's funny. And uh, I actually found out that this is the place because I was looking at the uh, shot and I was like, what's cool as a moose? And I Googled that. And then Google Street View showed me this. So this is the exact intersection. Pretty interesting, huh? But if you haven't seen the movie, this is the frozen yogurt place they all go and then uh, they decide their final plan at the end of the movie, but pretty cool. This corner seems to be a really busy bar or something. There's a bunch of people hanging out there. It looks like a clothing store. It's pretty weird. Lots of people here. They picked a busy intersection. So that's that. The other parts of the movie, I, I can't figure out where they filmed it. It's just too generic. There's nothing really obvious and there aren't enough scenes zoomed out for me to like look at other things and figure it out i was lucky that cool as a moose store was still there because if it was closed and something else i probably wouldn't have had trouble finding it i knew it was exchange street from these signs and i tried to follow it and uh, i had a hard time before but thank goodness i looked at the businesses around there but uh but it's so cool that the wall that uh 
you're all gonna die is written is still there um, on Google Street View there was a scaffolding and covering it up so I'm glad it was there so I could see it but I know most of you probably don't care but <laughs> it's a funny movie so if you, if you like slapstick comedy check out Night of the Living Dead um, for now though I'm gonna head out of town go to a grocery store and I have to go pee <laughs> but uh um yeah i'm gonna head out it's columbus day i guess that's why there's so much traffic i was wondering why there's so many cars out but someone told me it was columbus day today but um let's head out head to my friends and uh i'm gonna spend the night there i'll probably sleep in her driveway because <laughs> i enjoy sleeping in my car um i just need to use their bathroom on and off so i don't pee in their yard or something like that but other than that um that's it for today and then tomorrow i'm actually gonna leave early and head into rhode island um, that'll be my first time in Rhode Island. I'm going to try to hit Rhode Island and Delaware on the way out to New York. Or on the way out in general. But I'm going to go to New York to the zoo. So I got to do the AT portion at the zoo. But uh, yeah, that was actually fun. It was fun. All right. See you later. I'm going to hit the road.